Right, what's up everyone? Back again with yet another video, back again with yet another banger. Some more food content for you guys. And today guys, I'm gonna be cooking a gumbo. Let that sink in. A British boy cooking a gumbo. So I've actually cooked it before and it's turned out pretty damn good. I've actually done it on the other channel over on the main channel. So I've never actually filmed it on this channel, so I'm gonna make it, show you guys the process of how I make it and I'm gonna let you guys know what it tastes like, see what the family think of it. I've never actually had a genuine, real gumbo. I've only followed a recipe and made it myself, so I can't compare it to the real thing. I'm not a conceited person, you know? I don't like to toot my own horn, horn too much, but guys, I can make a gumbo, and I'm gonna show you guys. Check out, check out the sort of weather we're working with. It's like springs here already, bruh. Check this out. Woo! A beautiful day. Guys, it's absolutely freezing. It's that the sun is shining, but it's very, very cold. We've been stuck in a kind of like minus five early in the morning, so it's very cold, but I don't mind it. When the sun's shining, when it's cold, I'm kind of happy. But anyway, guys, enough of that. We're not here for the weather. What's up, Araya? What are you saying, baby girl? Okay. Where I was not talking today, but I'm gonna take you guys into the kitchen. I'm gonna get this process started. This is gonna be banging, guys. Stay tuned. Before we go any further with the video, I need you guys just to do me one little favor, or maybe a couple of little favors. Can you please, if you're not subscribed, please just subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Please watch it all the way through. Leave me a comment. Here are the ingredients. So I spent a little bit of time cutting up our vegetables, our trinity. So we've got, um, uh, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Celery bell peppers, different color bell peppers, some onions, and there's a bit of garlic in that too. And then we've got some chicken thighs, pre-seasoned with a bit of Cajun seasoning. Here we've got our roux. Now guys, I know what you're gonna say, this is probably not enough roux. I made this last weekend, this was the leftovers. So I could probably use a little bit more than this, but I'm not gonna spend the time standing over the stove making more roux, so we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. And then seasonings, we've got some Tony's Creole seasoning to add a little bit more occasion. We've got chicken stock, cayenne, and smoked paprika. I know that the sausage is missing. Sharon's actually out at the moment grabbing the sausage shoes. We cannot get andouille sausage anywhere in the UK, so it's, we've got to make do with like a Madison's pork sausage or a, uh, a Polish sausage of some description. So the other thing is, guys, I know there's okra missing. I'm a little bit funny about okra, guys. It's got that slimy texture, so I'm a little bit scared to put okra in, so I know that's another ingredient that's missing, but guys, as I say, I'm a British bloke. I'm an English bloke trying to cook a Louisiana style dish, so please give me tips. Please let me know where I'm going wrong, what I'm doing right. It's gonna taste good. I'm telling you guys, this will taste good, all right? All right, so I'm starting off by browning off these chicken thighs, make them brown before we chuck it all in together, and then I've got the roux going. I know, guys, this is not enough roux, but it's gonna have to do. The roux is gonna have to do. So we're about to chuck these vegetables straight on top of the roux just to brown them to start with. So I've got my veggies combined with that roux. About to add a little bit more oil. And then the chicken is actually browning quite nicely. It's actually going brown already. So we're, we're I'm literally just gonna throw all this together very soon. And just wait for it to cook. All of my ingredients are now combined. And it's at a rolling boil, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, let it simmer. I can see already this may be a bust because I know there's not enough of that roux. It's like looking a little bit too light, it's not quite thick enough, so yeah. Uh, it happens. It's still gonna taste good either way, but it would have been better if I had a little bit more of the roux. I used most of it the last time I made a gumbo, so yeah, is what it is, guys. You just gotta wait for this to cook for probably at least an hour, I'd say, just so the chicken gets super tender. And I've also got a, uh, when Sharon gets back with the sausage, I've got to brown the sausage and add the sausage and then cook some rice and that's pretty much it. It's good to go. So that's it, simple gumbo. I wish there was more of the roux, but I, like I say, it's my bad. I couldn't be bothered to make another one. You've got to stand at a stove and stir the flour and the oil together for quite a long period of time. So whilst that ish is cooking, I'm gonna sit here, relax for a minute, enjoy these views, enjoy this winter sunshine. Rai Rai's watching happy birthday for some reason. Rai Rai, you're way too close, baby. Rai Rai, you need to stand back from the TV, bruh. Come. That's better. Final steps, final steps. We've got the sausages back. We've chopped them up. And we're frying them up here. These here glizzies. 
The glizzies. What does that even mean, glizzies? I hear people calling hot dogs glizzies. I think it's a New York thing or something, but yeah. Not andouille sausage, but it's, it's as good as we can get for now here in the UK. And this is what the gumbo's looking like. A little bit light, a little bit. Uh, but I'm sure it tastes good. So here we go, we're finally done with the food, finally. This is what it's looking like. So I kind of wished it was a little bit darker, but it is what it is. What do you think of the presentation? Look at that. Would you guys eat that? Tommy DMO's cooking, home cooking. There's like hella meat in it. Sausage, chicken. No seafood though, because our chassis don't like seafood, but let's do the taste test anyway. Let's see what it's actually hitting on. I'm about to try this and let you guys know how my own cooking tastes. And I'm going to be, give you an honest, unbiased review of how it really is. So let's go in, let's just see what it's saying. Not bad, not bad. You can still taste the roux, definitely. You still got that distinct roux flavour. It's, it's certainly got a lot of flavour, guys. You can taste a bit of everything, a bit of the Cajun seasoning. You know, all those vegetables combined. It's a good winter meal. That's what I want to say. It's a really good winter meal. I'll tell you what, guys, it's got a bit of a kick to it. That cayenne that I added. It's definitely kicking. It's definitely kicking, guys. That holy trinity is just an amazing combination. It's still a pretty hearty meal, even though it's like a soup. You've got rice. You've got a lot of protein in it. So it's a hearty winter meal I guess I mean I don't know does it ever get cold in Louisiana so I guess in Louisiana it's not a winter meal here is the sort of food you'd eat on a cold day because you get a bit of that sausage with it the bit of sausage bit of the chicken rice everything all together busting guys I would love to taste the real thing the real thing from Louisiana to see what the difference is and I will give it a solid 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 like, I think you guys if you guys were here tasting this food I think most of you guys would like it if you like spices flavor protein of course and anyway, guys let's see what Sharon thinks of it let's see what Sharon thinks oh so, what are you saying then spicy spicy is it I have to give this one a seven just because of the spice or oh, a seven or oh, too too spicy too spicy for me the flavor okay. is good I still think it's pretty good and I still think it's worth an eight out of ten what do you guys think what do you guys think by the look of it would you guys eat it? Do you guys like, like gumbo? Is there anything you can give me tips on to make it better? Let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, a little short sweet video of your British English geezer bloke making some Louisiana food. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned. Look out for more videos on this channel. I'm gonna be going ham this year with the videos, all right? So stay tuned guys, and I'll see you in the next video. The end. <laughs>